Crips in Cars is a social experiment that celebrates differences. We chuck two complete strangers in a car and watch them connect through the simple act of conversation. Paula Bennett has arrived. <laughs> Okay, so I have received my instructions. <gasps> I'm picking up Hunter, and I love that name, by the way, because I have a gorgeous grandchild called Hunter. Uh, and I'm heading to EB Games to find him. So I know nothing about him. I've got no idea what his interests are. Do I surmise that he likes games? I was gonna call them video games. <laughs> that sort of shows my age a bit, doesn't it? I don't think they do video games anymore. I've got a stepson, so I can probably try a bit with the lingo, you know? I can get down with my bad self with the youth of today. Yeah, that's, yep, I just said that. Uh, my kids will never talk to me again if that goes um, live. I'm presuming he's got some kind of disability. And then I don't know about you, but I just get in that whole do you talk to them about having a disability? Do you not? And then I think, gosh, they must get sick of talking about it. And I'm having a conversation to myself at the moment. I obviously need some company. <laughs> I wonder if he's got strong opinions on politics. A lot of younger people don't really give a damn, so we'll see. So, nearly there. I'm at the lights. I think I'm getting close to the destination. Ah! Hunter! Hello? Hello! <laughs> How are you? Oh, I'm fine, thank you. <laughs> are you a bit surprised? Uh, I, I was... I didn't... What vehicle is this? I know, it's pretty cool, isn't it? We don't want to get in trouble with the oh. traffic, do we? <laughs> Make no, sure no, you no, put no. your seatbelt on. Oh! Safety first. Safety first! Safety first! <laughs> wowza, yowza, this thing is completely tagged out. I know, it's very cool, eh? I'm Paula Bennett, and you are? Uh, I'm, I'm, I'm Hunter. Hunter? I've got a grandson called Hunter. Oh, you don't say. Yeah. Have you been at EB Games? Well, yeah, of course I have, and <laughs> just got a, and I just got a game. <laughs> you I just got a game from there. You might oh, really? even say it's solid gold. Oh really? <laughs> Literally. So it's a retro one. It's called Sonic Mania. Its package is glazing like gold. Was Sonic blue? Yeah. Oh well, we love blue. So you love gaming? Oh, that's common sense. Of course I do. <laughs> well, I don't. I don't even know much about gaming. Can I ask how old you are? Um, 26. 26? It'll be my birthday soon, so I'll, so I'll eventually become 27. Oh. Well, I, uh, I'm 49. Yikes! I know, I know, there's no need for the yikes. I'm nearing that 50. Hmm. Uh, I was having trouble with the car that's helping me. Yeah. Oh, I know this lady. You do? How are you, yeah. darling? Are you good? Yeah, yeah. So I'm, I'm sorry, I just couldn't work what out how to... What are you doing now? What are you doing? Oh, I'm still in politics. Really? Politics? Yeah. yeah, I'm a politician. Oh, is that so? So I, I used to be the Deputy Prime Minister. Oh. Of New Zealand. The Deputy Prime Minister? I did. At one point, I, I thought I would be riding with a celebrity, but a Deputy Prime Minister? I did not see that one coming. Such an honour this is. Yeah. Now I'm the Deputy Leader of the National Party. Ooh. And um, <laughs> from that to an Uber driver, I tell you, New Zealand's a great place for opportunities. Of course. Now that Jacinda Ardern is in charge. That's right. There's nothing us women can't do. <laughs> <laughs> and they and they say m males are superior to females. No offence. Yeah. What do you think about that? <laughs> I think we're even. Yeah. Are you interested in politics at all? 
Well, it would be a thrill to, um, to govern an entire country, but otherwise it would prove much of a challenge. So um, it, it would have to have a lot of thought put into it. Yes. He had his own individual style, his own individual language, and I just think he's an interesting guy, and that's what struck me immediately. So tell me something else about yourself. I am autistic myself. You are autistic yourself. So what does that mean? Tell me something about that. Well, you heard the old saying, always think inside the box. Yeah. <laughs> you see, we Aussies don't. In fact, we don't even have a box to think inside of at all. Yeah? Our minds are all over the place. Yeah. That's what makes us so special. And interesting. Mm-hmm. Yeah? Yeah, but I've heard tell about autism being some sort of disability. Mm -hmm. Who, who cooked up that? So you don't. So you don't consider it a disability. No, I consider it a, a, a strength. Yeah, 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 yeah. Time does seem to slip away from me, and that makes me a little anxious. And so is anxiety one of the effects of being autistic? You might say so. <laughs> when my mother's out and when she's late, I often I tend to wonder where she's been. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And if she will come back. So like for me, I don't sleep well if I've got big things happening. My brain's racing. I'm thinking like three or four steps ahead kind of stuff. And so is that similar to sometimes how you feel? In some sense, yeah. Yeah, I can relate to that, I think. So are you very creative, or is that a generalisation? Of course I'm creative. <laughs> I really like you, I love it. Ooh, he, is that so? Yeah, I think you're pretty cool. So tell me what the best thing about being autistic is. I have a photographic memory. Like on the movies, like you remember everything you've read and seen? Yep. No way. And I visualise it before my eyes. So if that's the best thing then about um, having autism, then what's the worst? Oh, I don't see a downside to all this. <laughs> I love that. Well, I love individuality and I love people that are a little bit different and I think the world would be a boring place if we were all the same. Because you're Deputy Prime Minister, what achievements did you make? I have done a lot in my... Life, Hunter, quite a lot. Um, but I've been in politics now for 13 years. 13? Yeah. And I'm a mum, and I was a very young mum. And I used to be on a benefit and everything. And then I decided to change my life. And I went to university, and then I got into politics. Oh, is that so? Yeah. And I'm proud of the achievements I have made. Good on you. My Diploma of Digital Creativity, which was a one-year course. Yes. And, and also, I was a Bachelor of Creative Technologies, a three-year course. Ah. And boy, was it a challenge. OK, so coming up is Jacinda Ardern's office. We're heading through her electorate. Oh, no way. Oh, yeah. There it is there. Give her a wave. Hi. So it looks like we're nearly here. We're in St Luke. I do like puns, you know. Do you like puns? Let me put it this way. When you enter a float tank and experience weightlessness in there, you could say it's worth the wait. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to take you to the entrance. You're getting the five-star treatment. <laughs> I've just loved doing it. I've loved meeting Hunter. I feel like I know a bit more about autism now, and I feel like I've met this wonderful personality and this just this really interesting young guy. It was really nice to meet you. Of course. We did. We got along very well. I have her card. Just like that. Like two worlds colliding. <laughs> me having a talk with a politician, it made me feel like an actual VIP. Can I have a hug? <laughs> and see ya. See ya, Hunter.